And welcome to the Uncle Hogram program. First, let's say hello to Pippi. Hi, Pippi. Hello, Uncle Hogram. Say, what's in the bag? Well, every day I come to work, I bring my lunch in a bag. So this is my lunch for today. What are you eating today, Uncle Hogram? Well, I'm having a peanut butter and whipped cream sandwich. But enough about my lunch. Let's get on with the show. Is that all you're eating for lunch? No, I'm also having a chocolate cupcake. But let's get on with the show right now. chocolate cupcake? Sounds terrible. What else are you having? Well, why don't you look at what else I'm having? Here, take a close look.
Mike Berman stand a chance in next year's Olympic event? Master of Ceremonies, Chico Carter. I think Thurman might have a chance if he trains in the South. I suggest North Carolina as a training ground. Of course, not all of these birds will be around for the second tables throughout the land. Turkey Television News, Rayford, North Carolina. Yes, boss? Tickleman, you're the worst salesman I ever had. But you haven't sold one policy yet. But, boss, I'm trying my best. Uh, but the only way you're going to sell a policy is if the customer can relate to you. Well, they have to be able to relate to you. How do you make a customer relate? Well, if they feel that you're just like them, they'll like you, yeah. they'll trust you, and they'll buy from you. Now go sell some policies. Okay, boss. Hello, sir. Sit down. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, do you like to have a good policy? Yeah, we have a very good policy. You have a very, very good policy, huh? Look at the benefits you have. Oh, yes, it seems very nice. Doesn't that seem very nice? Yes. And see what happens here when you go? Oh, yeah. Did you like that? Yes. Very nice. Yes. I like it. you. You're a nice man. Oh, I like you, yeah. too. <laughs> Give me one. the way you are. Well, do you think if I got some new clothes and lost a few pounds, maybe, and, well, cleared up my complexion, I could be a knockout like you? Well, maybe, but what you look like really doesn't matter. It's what's inside that really counts. Yeah, but don't you think I'd be more attractive if I had beauty as well as brains? Yeah, but I'd dump you like a hot potato. Who needs competition? <laughs> Hey, Max. Hi. I just won two tickets to the Heavy Metal Festival at the Coliseum. Mm. Want to go? Well, let's see now. What is it, some kind of a science fair, Sonny? No, it's a concert of all my favorite hard rock bands. Twisted Sister, The Scorpions. It'll be amazing. Well, <clears throat> I'll tell you what. Uh, thanks for the offer, Sonny, but uh, no, I have to uh, trim my nose hairs. Mom says I can't go unless I go with an adult. Well, what about your mother? She's also trimming your nose hairs. In fact, every adult I know is trimming his nose hairs. Dear Mr. Science, I've seen pictures of the space shuttle in orbit, and it looks as though it's just floating around. What makes it move? Does it have an engine like my dad's car? Sincerely, Robert. That's a good question, Robert. Now, if you've ever watched a takeoff, you know that the space shuttle has booster engines a thousand times more powerful than your dad's car. When these engines fall off at the edge of the Earth's atmosphere, the astronauts are left to their main means of propulsion, pedaling. That's right. Each astronaut spends hours pedaling the craft around.
setting never brought him closer to nature, and power boats seemed to be a dead end. <laughs> but he tried and tried to think of a way to get near water and still have a good time. Finally, he came up with the answer, an ocean cruise. But uh-oh, Frankie forgot all about submarines. Frankie Ferg. Some people are just better off on solid ground. 
Is the coast clear? Oh, good, no pilgrims. I'll just...